Welcome back. We're coming to 12.30 p.m. here in Beijing. Now, over the past two weeks, Somali pirates have seized eight vessels, including a huge Saudi oil tank. It was the biggest ship ever to be hijacked in history. A surge in piracy is hampering trade and security, and the international community is now discussing how to tackle what was once a problem and is now a crisis. Zhang Yajing reports. Commenting on the ongoing piracy near Somalia, the head of U.S. Africa Command, or AFRICOM, says international operations are being conducted in the Gulf of Aden. Uh, there is a, the U.S. is participating in the, the standing NATO maritime group uh, that is conducting uh, operations uh, uh, off the coast in the Gulf of Aden. Uh, but that work is being done now through a series of programs. It involves uh, other nations as well. Ward says AFRICOM's goal is to create stability by increasing the capability of African countries to face everything from disasters to terrorism. Kenya has invited its major trading partners to an international conference on fighting piracy. Kenya's foreign minister urges leaders at the meeting to act immediately. Major trading countries, India, Malaysia, China, your vessels are in danger. Our major trading partners, Germany, Britain, others, our cargo is in danger. We must act now and not tomorrow. He's calling on Somali leaders residing in Kenya to go back to their country to resolve the pirate menace. He also reiterates that Kenya will not pay any ransom to pirates to set free the Saudi ship captured last week. He says such payments only embolden the pirates. Meanwhile, a member of parliament for the transitional federal government of Somalia is calling for international assistance in its fight against pirates. The world will, you know, go a deep depression. So it's the interest of the global world to save Somalia and fight with the pirates. That's the best way we can reach because they are also very dangerous for the environment. Saudi Arabia says it will not negotiate with pirates and an Islamic group in Somalia says it will fight the pirates to free the Saudi supertanker. Zhang Yajing, CCTV.